this morning. We are anchored right where our friends Karen and Alan rent a little place. They usually rent it in the summer. The spot we're anchored isn't typ typically an anchor spot. It's right on the thoroughfare. So. Just looking how they split the, they got these things in here, how they split the granite. Huh. Oh, really? You guys check it out. Yeah, we... you guys might. <clears throat> we'll going to put these feathers in there and then drive the wedges in. See these holes here? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering. You only have to drill like that far down and then they just start pounding them in a line, go back and forth pounding them. And it splits it. it these right up. There. Yeah. Alan's a stone worker, cool. so he's showing us. Oh. I haven't been filming our sailing much. I probably should, just to like, you know, show that we actually are sailing, that we're not just like from point A to point B. <laughs> so. Not all that either. Yeah, that's true, but you know, some people would be like, are you guys sailing or what? Um, yes, we are. Most of the time we want to sail around here just because there's lobster buoys everywhere and we don't want to catch them in our prop. So sailing is a lot easier around here than in then actually motoring. And then we raise the sail. Hmm. We can actually loosen that, lift the topping lift up and loosen that main sheet up. And when you raise your sail, you leave your main sheet real loose so it doesn't grab the wind. Happy to, happy to not have any, that anxiousness anymore. I think a good anchor helps. And getting to know the lay of the land and getting used to rocks. But, uh, chance of rain, possibly. But, um, we're not going very far. Yes. We got the main sail up and we got a jib out. And, uh, we're just. Okay, now if you can hug this coast, go ahead. Okay. Don't get too close to it, but if we get on the other side, then we're going to have to run down wind too much. Right. All right. So try to hug this port. This port? Okay. Okay, anyway, so we Let got... Let the main out a little more. All right. Let it out the main. So we got the jib up. We're going to run down you know? Yeah. So if we go too far to the other side... At least we have the current with us, so yeah. it's fine. We got plenty of room, so... I think we could do is put the jib on the other side, but I don't know if that would even work unless we got a pole at this point. Yeah. Anyways, we're going three knots. The yeah. jib's getting blocked a little, but once we get around this, we're always it, there's always ledgy business going on here. So, and ob and uh, lobster men too. So do I go this way a little bit once I get up there? Once I get to that ridge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. We're gonna go that way a little bit yeah that'd be good yeah okay so that's about as far as we can go that way because we'll hit that yeah Sorry about like that okay yeah okay. all right so what we're seeing over there i think is what mountain dessert yeah and then right over here is hell's half acre right here that's all hills this is camp island and hell's half acre this yeah, the current and the wind with us, that's why we're going along so nice. Yeah. That main's catching all we're just sailing under main alone right now. But it's good to for safety when you're in a tight spot that you don't really know where it is. Yeah. 
Anyways, so we're just going along, ghosted along right now, um, and I'll film if it starts picking up or whatever different sail things we do. Yeah, it's not worth tacking or jiving in here to get that jib pulled because we're going to turn up here in a minute. Yeah. And it's pretty tight in here, so. Yep. <clears throat> cool. Remember? Good morning. Morning. Nice to see you again. We met you over in Burnt Cove last summer. Nice to see you out again. Well, as we go, we'll probably start getting more wind on our side, I think. And then when we catch, we definitely going to have a good sail up in Burnt Cove. So even if the wind's light, it should be a really nice sail up in there. Keith is, uh... Bit. Huh? Uh, I'm just filming. Light wind this morning. It heads that way a little bit as much as it can. Let me try it. Okay. Or I could maybe even bring in a jib to get it small. Want to put the square sail up? Uh, I'm not so much about doing all that work. I know. You want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, why don't you walk around and film, Sean? Okay. It's been fun steering. Oh, shit, now. Okay. <laughs> you can walk around and film. Yeah, I'll film. It's on right now. Okay. You got this. Let me get, because I can get up on this hard top. Courtney's steering us here yeah. and navigating us. Yeah. She's doing a great job. She's starting to get comfortable with this area. I am. Doing really good. I'm still a nervous wreck. <laughs> Rocks. <laughs> Got the main way out. Whoa, <clears throat> won't fit in the screen here. <clears throat> I'll try to go up forward a little. The jib, just the jib, because if we put the inner jib up, it'll just block the wind. So the wind's kind of coming from behind us into the sail like this. And with that inner jib up, it'll just block it. So once we get out here and tack or whatever not the main pretty far out it'll go a little further you can see we could get it all the way to the to the um running back stays i mean the uh after most uh standing rigging but it does start to rub on the sail up there a little so usually don't go too much further than that and there's some rain coming so we're just going to try to get to where we want to anchor before it rains we might get a little sprinkle, but we're hoping not so we can get the sails all covered up before it get, they get wet, which is no big deal, but they'll dry out tomorrow. That's kind of cool. You can see the gaff. It's a little bit crinkly up there. Not too bad, though. You could maybe drop that gaff boom just a little. Sometimes we adjust that a little bit. You got to be careful because when you do, because that's what holds up this boom right now. So if you just let that go, that boom's gonna fall right down to the ground. Without lifting up this sail loose line right there, you gotta pull that tight, that topping lift tight, which it comes down and up forward. So you gotta pull that tight before you drop the sail, otherwise the boom will drop down onto the, all the way down to the rail. Because that sail is what's holding that boom up right now. And so then when you reef, if you wanted the reef right now, you'd let the boom out, kind of get it so it's not got too much pressure on it, and uh, lower it down. Uh, you'd raise the topping lift again so you can lower it down to any one of these reef points. Yeah, we call it the topping lift, not the mainsail. That way we won't forget. We're expecting maybe to see our friends come out around the corner here, but I don't see them yet, so maybe not. Smile, Cardi. Yay! What's Layla doing? <laughs> She's getting old. She just rests a lot these days. She's a good girl. Okay. All right. We have jived around and just uh, avoiding some of these ledges here and getting 
ready to raise the inner jib up now. Heading towards our destination of Pickering Cove. Wind is definitely a little a little bit more out here, which is nice. Get a little bit more breeze. Jib sheet's full, main is full. Uh, just to help us sort of point a little bit better, we're gonna put that inner jib up. And yep, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Always catches on something. Everything, everything does. Especially when we try to tack with these jibs, it's funny. Before you tack, you want to make sure all the lines are like loose off of things. Uh, yeah. It's going to help the helm a little bit. I don't have too much weather helm right now. Not too bad. I've had worse. So this is not too bad at all. That cleat is a little dangerous. We need to run it a little better. It's ran wrong. But we're aware of it. We just let others know when they sail aboard to be a little wary of that cleat, the way it's ran. It doesn't pinch your fingers. All right, how's that feel? Perfect. I got a lot better steerage now. Yeah. Nice. Woohoo! Try to turn it up as much as you can, I guess. Okay. Oh, re, re sprout us. Okay. Where's the red line, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the black, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna see it over a little. You do. Alright, you wanna let that main out a little bit more. You wanna let the main out? Right. Wow, okay. 